Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about shoes to complete your wardrobe. From dressy and semi-casual to casual. We're gonna to touch base on all of it. Paul Driss was nice enough to send over an array of their collection of shoes and we just wanted to talk a little bit about shoes for kind of every occasion. So we're gonna start with the most formal and most dressy and work our way down to the casual. So we got this uh, Capto Oxford. Um, you know, black is always always considered more formal than yeah. brown. That's why it's at the end of our list. And the less broguing, the more simple is also considered more it's, formal. It's funny because the, the simpler the shoe, the more dressy the shoe. Right. Which I don't really agree with. But, like, yeah. but that's the rule of thumb. So that's why we have this simple cap toe Oxford. Great for the office. Uh, great for a wedding. Great for a wedding. Bar mitzvah. Quinceanera. It's great for everything, okay? White, white tie, black tie. There you go. The, the formal events, you're wearing plain black shoes. We have... Um, whole cut. Whole cut. This, is, is this a brown or black? That's black. We have a black. This is, uh, again, really, really similar to the super dressy shoe, but with more broguing, right? Yeah, a little bit of broguing on there. So it, I guess, makes it a little less formal than this original. This is great for like a holiday party. Right? Yeah. For like an engagement party, this is this is fantastic for uh, for those events that you want to dress up, but you don't want to go overboard. Yeah, I mean even with the tux or a white tie, black tie, you could probably still pull these off, but if it's like very formal, this is what you want to Yeah, you want to you want to steer away from uh, denim when, when wearing these two. Right. Even black shoes in general with denim, never really my thing. <sighs> black black monk so? Let me see. Let me see. To each his own. Yeah. And then. We have uh, these derbies, which are, they're very fun. Yeah. They're, you know, a little different, and these are gonna make a statement. Yeah. Like, no matter where you wear these, whether, you know, you can wear these to the office, you can wear these, you know, to with a suit, to a wedding, to an event. I'm sensing these are uh, your favorite, right? Um, <laughs> one of my favorites, yes. Yeah, so this is a, this, this is a nice hybrid. Um, like George was saying, and this is a perfect office shoe. This is something where, you know, you're still meeting the quota, but you're looking, you're looking a little bit. You're having a little fun yeah, with it. Yeah. So, I mean, this is, it's still dressy enough. Like no one's gonna knock you. No one's gonna be like, oh, what shoes are you wearing? You know, like you could, maybe you wear these with jeans, I would say. No, you can, yeah. So because of the woven front, yeah. it gives it a more relaxed look, but with the style of the shoe and the last, it's still dressy. Exactly. Now these might be my favorites. I'll let you talk about these. So we got these leather monk straps, uh, a little bit of broguing on the toe. You know, these these you can dress up, dress down, wear to the office, yeah. you know, wear with jeans, casual. Um, also, have you, you've heard that um, brown, never wear brown shoes at night. Like, you, yeah. that's like, a, that's, oh. that's kind of getting thrown out the door yeah. fairly quickly. Uh, like, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. But what I like about these, these I, see, personally I think these are a little bit more dressed up than, than the average monk because it has no cap toe. So it gives it more of an elongated look. Um, more formal. Yeah, I would I would dress these up more than I would dress them down. Yeah, agreed. And I mean, you can see like the, the hand painted, the patina the on patina, the leather. Yeah, very nice. So nice. And even the bottom of the shoe before you walk on them, you can Pretty appreciate kick -ass. that. Yeah. So now we're getting more into the casual. So we have this uh, suede Oxford, also with uh, broguing. This is something that uh, you would definitely want to wear with jeans. You can, you can even wear with trousers, but um, I, I'd recommend with, 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 with nice, uh, nice denim. Right. I mean, the right chino. Yeah, the right sweater. chino. Yeah. But I mean, still got the broguing on the toe and then... And the stitching is, is uh, like the nice contrasting oh, stitching. It gives it a different approach where it, it uh, almost brings the shoe down from being dressed up. Right, I mean everybody should own a pair of suede shoes, honestly. Yeah. So, I recommend brown suede wingtips just because they're perfect for for the office. If if you have a, like a creative job where it's not quite, you know, Wall Street financial, like suit and tie, really uptight kind of stuff. If you can really have fun, but still class it up, yeah. these are the ones that are going to do it. See me, like even casual Fridays, to me this is casual. I have casual Fridays. Exactly. Casual, yeah. You know, you're still going to look best. Yes. And... The chukka. And we have this chukka, which is a nice approach to, to the boot. Um, I love the the rubber sole, so it makes it like an all-purpose. You can wear this um, all weather, basically, minus snow. But yeah, uh, 
perfect, dude. Now the leather is like super soft on this. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, this one has a nice sleek approach with, with the nice trouser and with the suit, with the brown suit. I mean, with the brown suit, with the blue suit, actually. Sorry about that, guys. Nice crop. This look great. Yeah, even though, even though like this is the most casual shoe, it's still like you could dress it up if you wanted to. Yeah, easily. And yeah, I mean these you're not gonna be able to dress down so much, but once you get up to here, it's probably a good mix of casual and yeah. formal right here. But you know these are your most formal shoes. So guys, just know that with 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 every wardrobe, you should have you know a, a casual, semi-casual, dressy. Yeah, preferably a brown and black in each, just to you know fit with whatever pants you got going on. Yeah, so basically there's only six shoes here, but six shoes could, could complete your your wardrobe. Thank you to Paul Driss for sending us these shoes. Um, be sure to check them out at pauldriss.com. We'll have links to them down below. Uh, tell us which ones are your favorite, and uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram at Jen's Lounge, and hashtag your pictures Jen's Lounge. Thanks, thanks guys. guys.